I'm Ragnar Tornquist, creator of The Longest Journey. It's almost exactly 15 years ago when April Ryan began her journey through the twin worlds of magic and science. In that time, the game has touched an amazing number of people of all ages and cultures across the world. April's long journey from art student to savior of worlds began as a tiny seed of an idea by a small team passionate about storytelling and classic adventure games. Through a collaborative creative effort, the game evolved into something we couldn't possibly have imagined. A story both personal and epic, worlds that were beautiful and diverse, a universe that has kept growing and maturing, and characters who have engaged so many. Never in our wildest dreams did we think our little game would still be played, enjoyed and discussed 15 years later, and we had no idea that April Ryan's journey would end up meaning so much to so many. It's humbling to see the game having taken on a life of its own, far beyond what we could have ever imagined. I'm incredibly pleased to see The Longest Journey get a new lease of life on a new platform, one so uniquely suited to storytelling and to adventure games. To see our worlds come to life in your hands, to know that the story will be experienced by a new generation of players in a way we simply could not have imagined is just amazing. Whether you played the game before or you're experiencing the story for the first time, I hope you enjoy this brand new handheld edition of The Longest Journey. I'll be back with some more thoughts about the ending and the future after you play the game. In the meantime, May the balance be with you. So, you've come to hear me tell a story, have you? If you please, we would love to hear one of your stories. You have seen so much. You have lived so long. Oh, so good of you to remind me of my age, child. No, don't worry. I am an old woman, but I've lived a long and fulfilling life, and I do have stories to tell. Which story would you like to hear? A true one. A true story. All my stories are true, child. There are enough fairy tales in the worlds already. There's no need for me to make up more, believe me. Tell us the story of the balance, then. <laughs> you want the story of the balance? Oh, that's a long story, child. And not one I'd venture to tell at this hour. But perhaps I could tell you a story that I heard a long time ago. A story that became a crucial turning point in the history of the balance. And that set in motion wheels that this day are still turning. Please, yes, that does sound like a story we'd like to hear. Very well. This story, like all good stories, begins where it ends. In a tower. In a realm that is no more.
tell me I'm dreaming again. You know, for once, just once, it would be nice to have a decent night's sleep without waking up screaming from a bad dream at 4 a.m. Postcard pretty. What's happening? Oh, perfect. I guess if I don't do something to save that egg, I'll suffer seven years of bad karma or something. Sound come from the egg? Boy, that's some chick. I don't think I can get a good grip on it. It's too big and slippery, and I might drop it by accident. It's a nest, padded with large scales, very large scales. For some strange reason, Feeling I should get the hell out of here before the tenants return. I'm an artist, not a botanist, but this is interesting. I've never seen a scale this size before. I'll keep it as a souvenir. Artist, not a botanist. Oh. <gasps> oh, the suffering we must endure. What? Why do you take such pleasure in torturing us? Torturing you? Who are you? We are the voice of all trees, the spirit of wood and leaf. You're a talking... tree? No, a tree does not talk. At least not in your tongue. The tongue of trees is the language of wood, root, and leaf. Who are you then? Like we said, we are the voice of all trees. Whenever an injustice is done, we must speak for the tree if we are present. It's the branch. I shouldn't have broken the branch off. Oh, what does it matter anyway? There is nothing more to be done for us. We are simply here to provide comfort in the final passing to Earth. We? I only see one of you. We are one with our host, as we are all one spirit, but legion. Yeah, uh, thanks for clearing that up. We do not expect you to understand. You are human. What's the deal with the egg? Egg? What egg? Oh, of course, the child. Whenever the mother was absent, we were entrusted with the safety of the child. But now, withered and without strength, we can do nothing to help. We have failed the mother, and we despair. Our shame knows no bounds. What happened to the tree? Oh, the pain. As the battle raged, we... Battle? Between the mother and black chaos. She was only protecting her child, but it would not back down. And the force of their battle shook the mountain. The brook that fed us was led astray, and without water, we began to wither and die. Who are you again? We are the wood spirit. We come to all trees in the hour of great need to provide comfort and aid in the passing to earth, and to give a voice to those who suffer. Our time is running out as we speak. 
The passing to Earth is about to begin. Leave us now. What about the egg? Oh, it is too late. Without sustenance, we do not have the strength to bring it safely home. We have failed. And the Earth will know our shame for all time to come. Isn't there anything I can do to help? Oh, we do not expect a human to come to our aid. Lose the attitude, okay? Just tell me if there's anything I can do. It is futile. We need water, but there is none. Not after the brook changed course. I'll find a way. Don't panic. We do not panic. Unlike you, we accept our destiny. If, however, against all odds, you do succeed, we will carry the child safely back into its nest. Do not make a foolish attempt on your own. It would spell certain misery. According to the, um, spirit, there was some kind of battle that split the rock and changed the course of the stream. I'm in my undies. That's so not fresh mountain water. Fresh mountain water. It's the withered limb of a dying tree. I feel so... I think I just made a funnel. Cool! I'm so proud of myself. This should do the trick. Neat. My art... Hello? Hello? Leave us be. Are you okay? We find our strength returned, and so we have no time for idle conversation. We must drink and rejoice. Aren't we forgetting something? Listen, the song of ancient wood. Is it not sweet? Sweet, definitely. Yeah, the baby's probably ready to boogie down as well. The baby, oh, the egg. Thank the earth. We almost forgot. Uh oh. Was that? Uh oh. It is you. You have come. You know me? April. Daughter. I have been waiting for you. Waiting? Why? Because it begins here, with you, as it always has. What do you mean? The breach and the mending, the pain and the joy, the end of the old and the dawn of the new. A different world. I am the mother of what is, but you, you are the mother of a future that may yet be. How will I know? How will I know what to do? I will guide you, and I will protect you as much as I can, but in the end, you are on your own. I'm afraid. You always were, my child, my daughter. This is probably not a good thing.
I must have been tossing and turning all night. So hot in here, too. No wonder I keep having these weird dreams. I've basically been simmering in my own sweat every night this past week. Doesn't look like it's gonna cool down anytime soon, either. Well, it's a good thing the studio's got proper air conditioning. I promised myself I was gonna spend most of the day working, and I don't intend to break that promise. Not this time. The last book I read was How to Seduce the Ma That's my desk, so, theoretically, that's where I'm supposed to do my work. I think my muse has departed me for greener pastures, though, because lately, inspiration's been fleeting at best. The wardrobe is actually made of real wood and not... It's a bunch of drawings I drew when I was a kid. I don't even know why I brought them here. I could only carry one suitcase with me when I left home. There was so much I would have loved to bring, but... C'est la vie. All right, so my wardrobe sort of chic to fit. I'd better head over to the studio to do some work. Only two weeks until the big show opens, and my contribution is in serious need of attention. Might be a good idea to get dressed first, though. Hey, babe. Babe, you're looking real sexy today. Zach, listen, I I've got to run, and... What's going on, April? How you been? I don't really have time to hang around. Then how about hanging out with me tonight? A few raptures, some hot dancing. Uh, did I tell you I got a VIP pass to the pavilion? Those things are hard to come by, babe. Sounds like good fun, but not tonight. Hey, whenever. Just don't expect me to be waiting around for you forever. No chick is worth that heartache. See you around. What an asshole. It's a fact, as in F-A-C-T, Free Access Terminal. Computer. Voice interface is not installed. Please use the touchscreen interface to communicate with this free access terminal. Oh, okay. Why not consider a very reasonable upgrade? In addition to a voice interface, True Holo Disp- No. I'll just use my hand. You are missing out on a great opportunity. Hold on. You understood that. You have a voice interface installed already. Why would I pay to have another one installed? Current voice interface is for sales purposes only. If you take advantage of this very affordable upgrade today... No, really. You... This terminal doesn't belong to me. Noted. Please refrain from voice communication in the future. Or you will be reported to the fact FUB and charged for processing time. F-U-B? Fair Use Bureau. They are authorized to carry deadly arms. Well, whatever. Sorry. Good morning, Fiona. Good morning, darling. You're up early. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Are you feeling all right? You look a little pale. I had a bad nightmare. Again? Well, you're not the only one, darling. Mickey woke me up screaming in the middle of the night. She wouldn't go back to sleep until I made her a cup of herbal tea. Nightmares? Apparently. 
but she refuses to tell me what they were. I think she's embarrassed. That doesn't sound like Mickey. I know, darling. Don't tell her I said so, but I've never seen her so agitated in my life. She scared the hell out of me. I don't know why I have nightmares. I guess they could be stress-related. After all, the Oh yes, the school exhibition. How- God, don't ask. I have no idea how I'm going to finish my painting on time. I haven't felt- I think you work too hard, darling. You need to relax once in a while. Live! Enjoy your youth! There's inspiration to be found in hedonism, you know. <laughs> I'm an authority on the subject, darling. Shouldn't you be outside enjoying the good weather? You joking? Bollocks to that. I'll stay inside until September, thank you very much. It's too bloody hot. Where's everybody this morning? Mickey's tied up in the basement. Mind you, she's not literally tied up, of course. Although, that is a tempting thought. Are you getting into your sexual fantasies here, Fiona? Because it's a little too early in the morning for that, don't you think? Sorry, I just can't help myself. Anyway, the plumbing is... You probably noticed when you took a shower, yeah? There's no hot water. So Mickey's working on that. Getting knee-deep in putrid canal water is her job. Thank God. What about Charlie? He up yet? No, he's still sleeping. And Emma just went to bed. I saw her come in when I was making breakfast. Do you know who she's seeing now? I don't know. Some guy? Those lads I see her with, darling. She's too good for those assholes. I wish she'd find herself a man who'd treat her right for once. She hasn't had much luck with love, no? She's a magnet for creeps, and she's so pretty. They prey on her, you know, bastards. I've tried to talk to her about it, but Emma's impulsive. She's just as headstrong as you and me, darling. But I Can I ask you a few questions? Why, certainly. How long have you known Charlie? Oh, he's one of our oldest tenants. It's close to three years, I believe, since he- I agree. He's an actual, genuine gentleman. And you don't see a lot of gentlemen these days, Tr- What do you mean, more than a friend? Not for me to say, darling. If you don't realize it yet, you will. Do you like Newport? The city? Oh, but do I like it? I think Newport is one of the great cities of our age. And which one is it? Love or hate? I haven't decided yet, darling. Tell me about Emma. Emma? Why, she's your best friend, darling. I don't know what to tell you that you don't already know. You girls are so close. That's true. Like me and Mickey, then. Except for the sex, of course. That's a pretty big except for Fiona. Oh, I guess so. She's the crazy one, Emma is. Emma's always been a little weird. Exactly, darling. She's a flirt, too, and the boy... I'm sure she could have been a model if she'd wanted. But she's an artist, and a good one, too. I really think she'll be a successful artist. What's up with Zach Lee? Zach? I think we both feel the same way about him, darling. He's not actually a bastard. My thoughts, exactly. Aside from that wanker bit. Still, he pays his rent on time and he doesn't make a lot of noise. He ke what did you think of me when we first- That's a peculiar question, isn't it? Do you remember the day I arrived? Of course, darling. It wasn't that long ago, and I'm not seen Al quite yet. It was in May, wasn't it? Charlie referred you to me, and you were quite at a loss. First day in the city, wasn't it? I remember. You looked like a lost pu puppy. Me? When I saw you lugging that suitcase across the bridge, my... Anything else you can tell me about Emma? She ought to be a little more careful sometimes. She's a flirt. And all I have told her. She won't listen. No. She does worry me a little, but she... How long have you and Mickey been together? 
Mickey and I have been together since I was 19. She was in her late 30s then. The older, wiser, worldly woman. When I finally realized she was neither of those things, it was too late. <laughs> I was in love. She stole me away from my dreary British inner city life. She was no knight in shining armor, that's for sure. You guys make a great couple. You think so, darling? You never get tired of talking about your sex life, do you? Never. And if I ever do, please shoot me. Can you tell me something about the border house? That's one of my favorite topics, darling. What precisely do you want to know? What made you decide to run a boarding house? That's a long story. One of the reasons Mickey and I got together was that we shared a passion for the classic English country inns. You know, quaint, weathered buildings, funny old ladies. So why come here to the big city? To America? We wanted to create a place with a similar atmosphere and hospitality here in Newport. So we discussed different options for a few months, and then we decided we wanted to start a boarding house for young, penniless students and artists. You decided you wanted to do that here in Venice? We knew that Venice was the place for us long before we came here, but the hard part was finding a building cheap enough. And this building was available? Not at first. Like most of the buildings in Venice, this one used to be a factory, but when we first looked at it, a local company was planning to turn it into a bar and nightclub. It was so perfect for our purposes, though, that we are What inspired the name Bo- That came quite naturally when we saw the place. It's on the border between two worlds, isn't it? Between Venice and the city itself. And at the same time, I also believe we're on the border between two more abstract worlds. That's very poetic, Fiona. Yes, I've practiced. Do you and Nikki own the place together? We own it together, yes. And we've shared the responsibilities between us. I also take care of the day-to-day -day management of our tenants, like deciding whether or not to let someone rent a room. I thought you enjoyed that part. Yes, all right. In some cases I do, but not- Thanks for the information. I'm glad I could help you out. What can you tell me about Venice? I don't really know much about the history of Venice. You should really ask. What I do know is that this whole neighborhood used to be an industrial area, and that about 100 years ago they converted most of the buildings into... And it's a nice place to live, certainly. Friendly people, liberal attitudes, great clothing stores, quite perfect. Tell me a little bit about me. Why? It's not much to say, darling. Sure, sometimes I wish I could go back to England to see my family. What's the story behind my apartment? Your apartment? It's more a room than anything else. Not much more than a large closet, really. It's not that small. It's one of our smallest rooms, but it's cheap and it's on a nice floor. I hope you're... I like it. It's convenient. And it's got a... Mm, an interesting view. That's nice to hear, darling. As for the story behind it, mm, no unexplained deaths or hidden pirate treasures, I'm afraid. Tell me some more about the board. What precisely do you want? Thanks for the information. I'm glad I could help you out. I don't have any more questions right now. Don't hesitate asking if there's something else you want to know. I'd better get going. Off to school. Yeah, there are no more classes this semester, but I have to finish my painting by now. For what it's worth, darling. Good luck. And don't work too hard, all right? Be considerate. Keep the volume down after 11 p.m. Fiona. Annual summer blowout at the Fringe Cafe. Friday, August 4th, 8 p.m. Free food. Live performances by... San Francisco. Oye, senorita. Yes? How are you this morning, senorita bonita? I'm fine. And you? Sunshine and pretty senoritas give an old man like me the blues. I like my days cold and rainy. In fact, I think I prefer the world to be in black and white. Like an old movie? Like all good movies. 
Hot and sunny like this one. Well then, you should be happy to be alive today, yes? It is a perfect day. But you are not happy, are you? You are troubled by nightmares. What? You are afraid of them. You even fear your dreams may be real. Who told you about my nightmares? No one. I can tell from looking into your eyes. I see the ghosts that haunt you. I don't know who you've been talking to, but from now on, stay the hell away from me in my personal life. No puedo, señorita Ryan. You have a destiny. Destiny? I don't care what you think. Just, just leave me alone. If you don't face them, I'm afraid your nightmares will continue. Soon they will appear to you even when you're awake. You need some serious help, you know that? We all do, April. That's the reason we are here, you and me. That's it. I don't have to listen to this. Perdóname. I've upset you. We didn't think you'd react this way. I hope we can talk again soon. I don't think so, no. Please, think about it. And señorita, cuidado. Be careful. I wonder what the homeless people do in the wintertime. Supposedly, it gets biting cold here in Newport. Uh-oh. I have to get scared. Jumping gates in the Newport subway is a corporate offense liable to get me five years behind bars. It's my diary. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's a picture of Charlie, Emma, and me. It's a picture of Charlie, Emma, and me. And... It's a gene scanner. It, um, scans your genes. Puts your genetic signature into... get a weekly pass, just in case. It's a small camera. My cash, I only have a few bucks left on my car. I gotta remember to get paid today. It's a small camera. Already pushed the button. I only have a few bucks left on my card. Gotta remember to get paid today. I'm sorry, but the fare is fifteen dollars. You have one dollar left on your cash card. This message was brought to you by the Bocamba Mercer. Damn, I don't have enough money on my. I already pushed the button. I'll get a weekly pass, just
just the case. I'll get a weekly pass. Irritating as hell. I think I'll shut him up now. Uh-oh. of organic plastic. It grows, it converts carbon dioxide into oxygen, but it doesn't need water or sun. No nourishment of any kind, actually. Convenient. It's a wind-up mechanism. Hey! You! Yeah, you! Hands up! Spread your legs! And do the Mildly monkey. amusing, but irritating. Hey. Get a weekly pass. Check. It's a small camera. I'm sorry. But the fare is fifteen dollars. You this message was brought to you. I'm out of cash. I already pushed the button.
picture of Charlie, Emma, and me. And it's a picture of Charlie, Emma, and I only have a few bucks left on my card. I got it's a plaque commemorating the Venice Massacre of Tw out here all day long all year. He never stops painting. I can't even begin to get them. Somebody toss out a perfectly good work glove with just what a terrible, terrible waste. Nice, very Van Goghish, with just a hint of monk. Nice art books. There's a really nice one here on turn. I'm way past finger painting. I need a paintbrush and palette. Hiya. Emma? Hi! I didn't expect to see you here today. Me neither. Are you busy? Nah. Well, I am. But I was about to wrap up for today anyway. Why? What's going on? I have an important message for you. Yeah? From whom? Believe it or not, girlfriend, but it's from Cortez. Excuse me? He said to tell you that he wants to meet you these are his exact words, where children visualize their dreams. Visualize dreams? What's that supposed to mean? Me? I was hoping you would know. Did he say anything else? Nope, that was it. Oh, yeah, we're eloping and flying to Africa tonight. It's all been happening so fast. <sighs> How romantic. I couldn't imagine a better catch than Senor Cortez, the... <laughs> Did he talk to you about nightmares? No. Why? I don't know. It's just... There you go again with dreams. You're obsessing, April. They're just dreams. And a dragon is just a dragon. What's dragons got to do with it? Oh, don't... A dragon. A talking dragon. I'm gonna regret this, but... What happened in your dream? Well... There... I think we established that already. You had a dream about a dragon. Not just any dragon, though. A talk... Yep, we've been through that. Talking to... She. It was a she, a female dragon. What, you could tell from the skirt, high heels, and lipstick? Don't mock me, Emma. She said something to me. Something about being the mother of the future. She probably said time to get up and go to school, April. If you don't want to take my dream seriously, I'll just... Is that a promise? Like... Oh, that's low. I'd punch you out if I wasn't so hungry. You want to go get some lunch at the Fringe? No, I'm not. Did you eat anything at all today? I don't think so. You really should eat something, April. Today's special is tortellini, so think about it. I'll be hanging out there for a while. I'll think about it. Sure. Bye.
not a dream, I think. Nice. Big surprise. I'm still here. I like my out. It's empty. Nice hair color. It's the official VAVA notice board. Only registered students are allowed to put the annual Vava Summer Exhibit, August 11th through 18th. God, I'm actually expected to be ready by... Th That's Mary Sam. Va People should have the good sense to do that kind of stuff behind closed doors. At least as long as... It... Backpack, backpackers. Hi, Charlie. April, nice to see you, girl. You know, I came to wake you this morning, but you'd already left. Early bird catches the worm. No, early bird finishes the damn painting on time. <laughs> have you seen Cortez around? As a matter of fact, I have. And he was asking for you. Do you know where he was going? No, but he seemed interested in that poster next to the jukebox. They put it up earlier today. What poster did you say he was interested in? The one right next to the jukebox. He asked about me? I got it, but I have no idea what it- Cortez can be a little sh Do you have any idea where kids would be able to, um... Maybe in therapy. I don't Then I don't know. Thanks. Anytime, April. How's work going today? Aside from the trouble with the plumbing, everyone must be home out of the sun, yeah? Or on holiday. Perfect time for it, too. The city, you should have stayed out in the country until the autumn, girl. It's cooler out. Yeah, the summer's... Uh, I remember my home. It got so hot, he'd fill it with spring water from the river up in the hills. We'd laugh and scream and run around. And on those days, I loved him so much. They were the good day. You doing anything special tonight? Working. I should really be at rehearsal, but I need the money. I'm going home for a week before school. Right, you told me. Well, that's great. It... Yeah, right. You remember well, girl. Four years. I know how that feels. Isn't it such a cliche, though? Mind if I ask? Why would I not? What's your take on? Why do you want to talk? Do you think he's as crazy? No, he's not crazy. I don't know. I have. Thanks, Jar. I have to get going. Take care, all right? Remember, you're supposed to get paid today. Stan's not gonna remember unless you bug him about it. Hi, Charlie. What's up? I'll see you later. Later.
What you doing here? I... You ain't working this afternoon, are you? I don't want... But I'm just... Damn, woman, do I have to be... It's nice to see you too, Stanley. Oh, don't ever say those two words when I'm around. I don't... You? And nice? That's funny. No. Working and not. Don't use those two words in the same... Damn, I get creeps even when I say them. I'd like to get paid. Damn, woman, don't you know I got a migraine already? Paid? God damn it. Why'd they have to make that... Listen, why don't you leave old Stan alone, huh? They make me feel a whole hell of a... I'd still like to get paid, though. Mighty man, our woman. You really know how to rub it in. God damn it. Yeah, all right. You got your time sheet? Yes. Yes? Yes? Convincing, but Stan finally agreed to put the jukebox on free play. Settle this one for us, April. When did Roin Dale release Sidetracked? Oh, 04, right after the Morning Star exile, those sons of bitches. With blood on their boots. You said oh I was closer than you. Oh s I don't. Did you speak with Zack today? Why? He was upset. Called you a stuck up bitch. He what? You gotta you think so. So that even if you came crawling to his door, he wouldn't give you the time of day. Said you called him an asshole. Oh god. I really Who cares? It's Zack. He hates you, so what? No that's true. So what else is going on? Actually, what's with you and this guy? You'd rather spend time with- I have to find out what the message- Don't look at me. I don't know anything except what I already told you. Ask Charlie. He spoke with Cortez earlier. Mind if I ask- Like I don't tell you every- Thanks, Emma. Thanks for what? For t I got a wrong- See you around? Roma Gallery presents Growing Pains, an exhibition by and for kids and teenagers. Could this... I never say no to a complimentary ticket. It's a poster ad for an ex... I don't think I've ever seen anybody pass through that door. Isn't that peculiar? I love this mural. <laughs> I worry I worry about the exhibition coming up in two weeks. This is I worry about I worry about the exhibition coming up in two weeks. This is the net result of my work. A pile of nothing. And it's not even a big pile of nothing. Shell. Still just shelves. It's a matchbook from the Fringe Cafe. It's the address. The gallery is located near the Watertown Bridge. It's all the way over in West Venice, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna have to catch the Metro Line subway to get there. It's a complimentary. Could this place.
It won't budge. I guess it's at 100. Oh. It seems the clamp served a perp. What a mystifying contra- Mystifying. Hey, wow! I can see right into the common room. That's amazing. The shade. It's a pretty. I'm sorry, but big sweaty jocks do not turn me. Common room duty roster, July 27th. Pizza and movie night, Monday. Found a gold ring under the common room sofa. If it's yours, let me know. But no false claims, please. Fiona. I did lose a gold ring a few weeks ago. I hope this is the one. I'll have to ask Fiona. It's a matchbook from the Fringe Cafe. Found a gold ring under the common room sofa. If it's yours, let me know. But no false claims, please. Fiona. are in trouble. Don't they know that skateboarding is strictly prohibited in Newport? From what I've been told, from what I've been told, the clock stopped on the very I'm sure Stan won't notice if I dig gently into his supply. He's got... That's my... well... Emma's friend. What's up, April? Do you have any idea where I can- Roma Gallery? I they have a poster next to the jukebox, advertised- Oh yeah, that's right. I remember they put up that poster. The address- Can I ask if you- Sure. How long have you- I met Emma about a year ago. When she... I like her a lot, and the two of you are the best friends I've ever had. Thanks, Charlie. The same goes- Yeah, I told her and she jokes about it. That's just Emma. Does Emma's behavior ever worry you? She can seem a little out of control from time- I know. Sometimes I'm in awe. They just- She's a deep person, but she hides it. Do you like living- I love Venice. Uh, Venice is like a college campus. The fact that we're also right in the middle of one of the- Yeah, Venice is my kind of place. Anything else? What else? I don't know what to tell you, girl. Thanks, John. I'll see you later. Later. My boss. Yeah, stands. yeah. What do you? I heard that. Ah. Uh... Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Listen... Lord Almighty, everybody wants money! You run the place, Stan. We're employ- Goddamn labor laws. No, I don't. Oh, big goddamn surprise. Feel like getting it and then coming back? Or better yet, don't come back. Stay away, do my money. What's up? Not much. 
What are you doing? Staying here. What else? I'm meeting a friend later. No. Figures. I don't know. Who's this? Fr don't tell me. It's that guy you were out with last night. Are you gonna tell me I shouldn't get involved? No, no, of course not. Well, I wish you would, because you're right. I sh but he's so cute and charming and, you know, very good in bed. I have a couple of... Yes. Did you finish your... Pretty much. I'm happy with it, and I know... You know what? Don't ask. Sure. Could happen. <sighs> I'll have... Yes, you will, or I'll kick you... Okay, I got... Did you speak with Charlie? Yeah, for a few minutes. Why? Nothing. Uh, April... Did he? About what? About... Mm, nothing. Shit, girl, get your act together! Open your eyes! But I don't think... That's it. See you later. Bye.